Hello, comic fans, and welcome to another round of fictionalized Fury on Grudge Match, the show where the noteworthy names of the comic continuum come together for brutal beatdowns. Today's match sees two of the top mistresses of muscle going one-on-one. -on -one. For DC, it's the former Fury of Apocalypse, Big Barda, and for Marvel, the mean green legal eagle and Avenger, She-Hulk. Now right off the bat, these two are on fairly equal footing because they both fulfill the same basic spot in their respective universes, being pretty much the top female muscle-bound character who doesn't rely on additional abilities or magic or flight or any of that, but really just come down to pure raw strength, durability, and fighting skills. So taking a look at them individually, Big Barda, created first in 1971, is one of the new gods, was born on the dark world of Apocalypse, and raised under the tutelage of Granny Goodness in order to serve in the armies of Darkseid himself. She was actually trained and raised to be the leader of the most elite of Darkseid's warriors, the Female Furies, and she was the most powerful fighter on that team. She met and fell in love with one of the new gods who was being tortured in Granny Goodness's dungeons, named Scott Free, also known as Mr. Miracle. And she saw the innate goodness in him and fell in love with him, decided to help him escape, escaped with him to Earth, and has been living on Earth ever since as the wife of Mr. Miracle. The two always fight as a duo and both often coincide with helping out the Justice League, especially whenever the Justice League finds himself coming into conflict with Darkseid or any of the minions of Apocalypse. When it comes to Big Barda's abilities, she is primarily reliant on her strength, invulnerability, and fighting skills. Her strength is pretty much off the charts. She can lift 100 tons plus, which essentially means it's beyond calculation. She can easily lift more than 100 tons and potentially more depending on her level of anger and adrenaline and depending on how much she trains to further enhance her already great strength. As one of the new gods, she has an enhanced physiology. She has basically immortal life functions. She is not prone to any illnesses or diseases. She's immune to all kinds of toxins. Her stamina is greatly enhanced and she can exude herself at maximum capacity for up to 48 hours before she begins to fatigue at all. She has great durability when it comes to any kind of blunt force trauma. Even blows from super powered opponents won't do a lot of damage to her. But, like a lot of the invulnerable characters in the DC world, she is vulnerable to piercing and cutting weapons. So swords and even high caliber bullets can pierce her skin and cause damage to her. But even this is difficult to accomplish as she has incredibly enhanced speed and reflexes that allows her to literally be able to dodge bullets. It's also increasingly more difficult to pierce her with swords or bullets because she wears apocalyptic armor. That's armor forged on the planet of Apocalypse that is completely bulletproof and resistant to most types of weaponry. In addition to these skills and abilities, she also comes with a couple of pieces of technology from the New Gods, including a Mother Box, a piece of technology that most all New Gods have that allows for all types of different things, including teleportation and scanning, built-in AI, things of that nature. And her primary weapon that she uses in combat is a weapon from Apocalypse called the Mega Rod which she uses as a bludgeon weapon as well as it being able to do some energy manipulation and cast out energy projectiles from it as well. All these skills, abilities, and weaponry put together make Big Barda one of the most powerful of the incredibly powerful race of new gods. She-Hulk of Marvel Comics, first created in 1980, is better known as Jennifer Walters. She's the cousin of Bruce Banner, better known as the Incredible Hulk. And in one instance, Jennifer Walters was gravely injured and she needed a blood transfusion from Bruce Banner in order to survive. The transfusion of his gamma irradiated blood turned her into the She-Hulk. Now she has a much greater degree of control over her transformation into a Hulk than Bruce Banner does. 
She can do it at will. She can change back and forth from her human form to her Hulk form anytime she wants. And she retains full control of herself when in her Hulk form, which is not always the case when it comes to the Incredible Hulk. As She-Hulk, she also has 100 plus tons of superhuman strength. Started out at a much lower level back in the 80s, but over the years she has increased her power exponentially and she's now regarded on the same level as Hercules and in some cases even the Incredible Hulk himself. Also like the Incredible Hulk, she can get exponentially more strong as she increases in anger. So as her emotions run away and she starts to get angrier and angrier, her strength level increases as well to potentially unlimited levels. She can also, much like Big Barda, go for about 48 hours at maximum efficiency before she starts to fatigue to any degree. So in terms of strength and stamina, both of these characters are on the exact same footing. She-Hulk, however, comes out on top in terms of durability. Like Big Barda, she's incredibly durable to blunt force trauma, but she is also very durable against piercing, slashing, and stabbing implements. While she can be injured with sufficient force, she is very, very resistant to bullets, to tank shells, to all kinds of different weaponry, and even if she is injured, she has that Hulk level healing factor that the Incredible Hulk is so well known for, which basically means any kind of injury she receives almost instantaneously heals. That's something Big Barda doesn't necessarily have either. She has a new god physiology which includes enhanced healing, but it's not going to be to the massively enhanced degree of any of the Hulks in the Marvel Universe. She-Hulk also has a good degree of hand-to-hand -hand combat training as she has been a member of the Avengers for many years, as well as taking on a role in the Fantastic Four for a good period of time. And being this superhero and adventurer of such a high degree, to be on the Avengers and Fantastic Four necessitates a lot of training with some of the best hand-to-hand -hand combatants around, like... Captain America, or Black Panther, things like that, and she has picked up a lot of fighting skills along the way. However, Big Barda has much greater fighting proficiency, because she has been trained since birth to be the most powerful warrior in all of Apocalypse, which is a very, very rough culture to grow up in. So Big Barda is going to just have better all-around fighting skills. So while these two combatants are on equal footing in terms of their strength and stamina, She-Hulk comes out ahead in terms of greater durability and a healing factor. Big Barda comes out ahead in terms of being a better fighter and having apocalypse-born technology and weaponry that she brings with her into the fight. So having taken a look at these two characters and their powers, similarities and differences, it's time to decide who would win if they were to ever collide. That one is going to be... Big Barda. Even though she does not have the same level of durability that She-Hulk has, she does make up for it with that apocalyptic armor that she wears, making her even more durable than She-Hulk's natural skin would allow her to be. And while She-Hulk does have a healing factor to help her out, Big Barda can potentially overcome that if she delivers enough damage to her with her greater level of fighting proficiency, her greater weaponry, the mega rod that she brings into the fight, the mother box to allow for teleportation and threat assessment and even some energy manipulation as well. So while it would be a good fight and while the slugfest would definitely be a difficult one for Big Barda, maybe the toughest she's ever faced, ultimately the new god warrior s Big Barda, wife of Mr. Miracle, and one of the strongest of the new gods is going to take home the win of this grudge match. So mention me down below, let me know what you think of this outcome, and any suggestions for future matches. We'll see you next time on the next edition of Grudge Match.